Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Pisces, for the week of October 24th. All right, let's get into it. Let's get you a moon oracle card for Pisces. Pisces, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. It really helps my channel. The answers you need are coming. That is the full moon in Gemini. Confidence is your key to success. The new moon in Leo. And your hard work is paying off. That's the new moon in Capricorn. <coughs> so with this full moon, excuse me, and these two new moons, I really see a new beginning here for you, Pisces. Love that. Love that. You go from the full moon right to the new moon. No in between. <laughs> It's time to release negativity. That's the full moon in Scorpio, another full moon. Time to release negativity. All right. Let's see what that's all about. And your hard work is paying off. All of that hard work, Pisces, it's paying off. Oh, the golden egg. I love this for you, Pisces. This is a spirit card. But you are filled with unrealized potential, something big brewing within you. You can feel it. It brings you excitement. It brings you happiness and joy and you just can't wait to dive into this whatever it is you're doing you're loving doing it might be a lot of hard work with that hard work is paying off but boy you really love doing it oh and look how busy you are with the bee energy coming in busy busy <laughs> pisces love this very active you're very active right now all right what does pisces not see coming spirit what does pisces not see coming oh my are. I love this energy, Pisces. Major healing coming in for you. Major healing. I love this spirit just allowing you to heal and be replenished. You're being rejuvenated for purpose here, being um, uplifted for, for a reason here. And justice. Look at this. Battles won, victory, court battles, anything like this. It's a victory for you. It's over. And um, the number 11 card. So watch out for the signs here, Pisces. Watch out for all of the signs that spirit is sending your way. They really want you to take notice right now. Take notice of the signs. All right, let's pull your head space, your heart space, and the foundation or the reason for the reading. And we'll pull some clarification cards. Oh my God, Pisces, this just keeps getting better and better with the Empress here. Look at that full moon. <coughs> I'm sorry. I've been under the weather trying to get these readings out, but um, I'm going, I'm determined. The Empress, look at this. You are open to receiving another full moon, something under the full moon. So um, look up to see when this next full moon is and release it all to spirit. Release any negativity you have to spirit. I see it just being released to the full moon here. So wow, you've got some such good energy coming into you. But open to receiving. You are not blocked. Oh, two of Pentacles decisions. You've got some options coming in here when it comes to money people offering you things. And so now you're thinking about it. Now you're like, well, maybe I do want to do that. And uh, maybe that would bring me in a little bit more money, but some more stability, some more joy. You're looking for happiness now, even more so than money. You're looking for happiness. You are a magnet too. I can just see that with the Empress energy, people just being attracted to you, people wanting to be around you, wanting to hear what you have to say, wanting to know what you're thinking. Look at this with strength. Two major arcana at three because I see the emperor. Oh my God, injustice. Wow. Pisces, what are you doing? Are you like a counselor or a, a therapist? Or you, you are, you are. You're a therapist, whether you know it or not. You are really counseling others. They're just attracted to you. You're like a magnet for others. They're coming to you for help. They're coming to you for peace and serenity because they see that that's what you're emitting. And you are there for them. You are absolutely there for them. It's a smile. It's a, it's a nod. It's a, a, it's an eye connection. It's meeting of the eyes where you're giving them comfort and support. All of the others around you it could be in the grocery store. It could be everywhere you're going. You are soothing and you are laughing and smiling and really uplifting those around you. And you just, you just emitting this uh, nurturing, caring. Um, uh, energy and that's what people are so attracted to but i cannot get over the major arcana the emperor strength the emperor and justice look at this power couple look at this with the emperor and the empress here in your mind space i mean solid partnership 
there's just no guesswork in it. You're both so solid. You're both so secure in what you're doing that when two people come together like this, there's just, there's no stopping it because you've got your life, they've got their life and vice versa. And there, then you come together at night and you say, wow, what a day I did this and I did this. And you have all these accomplishments that you're sharing with each other. Wow. It's just, it's so beautiful. I love this energy I'm reading for right now. I love it. Heart space. Let's see what's in the heart space. Balance. There's that balance that you're bringing to each other, but you're standing on your own within a partnership and it doesn't get any more beautiful than that. When you're each standing independently on your own, there's no codependency. There's no need. There's no, um, there's no control. There's no manipulation. You just balanced. And then you come together and you're just power, 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 power couple here. Wow. Love this. It's very balanced, very balanced. Two of wands under the two of pentacles. There's that travel. Look at travel coming in for you. Decisions about where you want to go. The sky's the limit here, Pisces. Sky is the limit. You can go anywhere you want to. I see a road trip. I see you just jumping in the car, putting on the music, getting away for the weekend, letting your hair down and letting this partner come with you. You're really enjoying this partner's company and getting along just so well together. It's just like your best friends. You're just best friends. I love this. What else in my heart space for Pisces? Let me tell you about my best friend. Oh my God. And the two of swords, lots of decisions coming in for you now, Pisces, lots of offers, lots of ideas, lots of don't get overwhelmed by these decisions here because you're very busy. You're working really, really hard. So just, it's just decisions that are coming in. Some of them you can see all the facts with, and some of them you can't. So, um, it's just feels like a whole nother, uh, level of balancing. You're just balancing things out. So you're going over things in your mind, back and forth, pros and cons here. And you're just marking off the pros and cons. You're talking to your partner about the pros and cons of these offers coming in. You will make the right decision. Do not even stress about it. Uh, you absolutely will make the right decision. There's no wrong decision here. There's only lessons, but there's no harsh lesson coming for you here, Pisces. So you can relax about that, that decision you're making. Four of swords, you're really resting, mending healing up and getting replenished. You're allowing spirit to replenish you here. So I, I really love that. You're just allowing, you're just allowing it in. No blockages here coming for Pisces. Walking away from any kind of stress. Look at the friendship group you have here with the seven of pentacles and the three of cups here. I mean, real solid connections here that you've worked really hard at. So now you're getting the payoff. You're getting the payoff. You're able to walk away from any kind of burdensome relationship, any kind of sorrow, any kind of grief. You are really, really walking away from it with the Ten of Swords here. But your friends, your friends are there. They laugh with you. They love you. They have your back here. Two feminine energies in particular have your back. There's seven sisters in the sky. So really, really solid friendships and connections around you. Things that you have worked very, very hard for, even your pentacles, you have worked really, really hard. So that's about to pay off. You see how these pentacles are growing. He can't see that those pentacles are growing, but they are. What he sees is the fruit of his labor, the plant, the uh, abundance growing for him. So there is something really big coming for you. Some kind of big payoff with justice coming through here for you. Huge payoff coming for you for all the hard work you have done here. Wow. Big reward coming for you, Pisces. Love this. And you're already feeling rewarded. So it's just going to be that much sweeter and that much brighter and better when these other rewards start coming in because you've already feeling rewarded. You're already feeling this reciprocal energy coming back right back at you here. So this decision here is going to be made for you with the tower coming out in your foundation. I feel like you were at some kind of crossroads with all these twos with some kind of offers coming in, but spirit comes in and just takes one of them down or both of them down and leaves you right wide open to walk through the door through the right offer here. So don't be worried about making any kind of wrong decision. Spirit is absolutely leading you in the right direction here and is closing those other doors for you. So anything that wasn't going to work out or wasn't right for you to choose, but you were really confused, maybe it paid more money or there were some benefits there that were tempting you. Spirit's going to take that away from you. Look at this with the devil and the tower coming in Capricorn energy and Scorpio energy. But my God, look at this. I can't believe the devil and the tower showed up in your foundation here. So it, it tells me toxicity, but it tells me that this offer, there's some kind of offer coming to you and it's toxic. It's not right for you, but it sounds all shiny and pretty and, 
and beneficial and there's a lot of money and there's a lot of benefits, but it's really toxic. So you're doing the right thing by weighing your options here with these offers that are coming in. Spirit is intervening here. They don't want you to fall into anything that is not for your higher good here or for your better well-being here. So you're being very guided. There's an angel here that is really guiding you in the right way. There seems to be three, three offers coming in and two of them. I don't know why I see two of them are going to be taken away from you. And um, it's going to leave the light on this one offer that is really the right way to go here for you. So yeah, a couple of them or at least one of them, absolutely one of them is toxic and is not the right way to go. It's turn around, it's stop, do not go that way. There's going to be some kind of sign coming in that you will know that that's spirit talking to you, telling you not this one, not this one. So there's somebody that you should not be trusting here. Absolutely with the two of cups coming in. So now you've got all four twos. So there is offers coming for you, offers coming for you. There's some that don't seem as good as the others. And, and there's some that seem like, yeah, that's the way to go. I've got to go with this one. It pays so much more or it it's offering me so much more, but it sure throws you into a world of hurt if you do take this one. So be very, very um, selective. Be very selective in who you're choosing here. If it's people coming in offering friendships or offering um, love here, then be very, very selective. Do not let everybody in here, Pisces. Not everybody has your best interest. They're looking out for themselves and themselves only. Spirit is intervening here with the tower. So it's going to all be taken from you where you won't have to make the decision, but you've got three, maybe four offers coming to you at once. It feels like it's some kind of um, karmic thing for them, for, for them. I'm going to pull some cards on that to see, but it's just, it's not right for you. It's not right for you. Your gut's going to tell you, look at the 11s here. So whenever you notice 1111 on the clock here or, or anywhere, if you see 1111, pay attention to what you're thinking here. Are you thinking about one of these offers here and really pay attention to how you're feeling about that offer, what you're thinking about that definitely has to do with work offers here with the eight of pentacles under that and the chariot under that. So this is about work. This is about making your money here. Somebody offering you this shiny new way here and you having or, or a couple new offers coming in here and you having to really decipher what's good for you and what's not. So be very, very selective in those offers. What else? What else in the foundation for Pisces? Plus you're a magnet. You're a magnet. People are just drawn to you. And that's why you're getting all of these offers. People in the, in the grocery store saying, Hey, I've got this business going and they just start up this conversation and you're like, Oh yeah, that sounds really great. And then bam, you're stuck in this weird situation with some stranger that, you know, you can't pretend a stranger is a long awaited friend, Pisces. So just be very, very mindful of people approaching you with these offers. It seems tempting seems very tempting. It seems like the way to go, but it's not, it's not the way to go. So whatever, just, um, whatever they are offering you, just really get to the fine print of that. Really look at that and say, is this good for me? Is this good for me? Hanged man, it feels like you've been, um, waiting for this to come through too. Like you've been waiting quite some time. You've been working really hard for something like this to come through. And that's why it feels so, so beautifully tempting for you because you've been waiting for this for quite some time. It's just not right. It's just going to lead you to heartache here. So absolutely, really, really look at these offers coming into you. Three of Wands, that's you preparing for this future, for this brighter day, and for this offer that is good for you. There's absolute offers that are going to take you so far, help you to travel, help you to meet new people, help you to meet new causes and new activities and really brighten you up, really cheer you up and bring you out of that Ten of Swords energy here. But Boy, there's just some people here wanting to step in and manipulate others and, and take advantage of others here. I don't think they're very close to you, but we're going to pull some um, cards and see, see who this is. Six of Pentacles. There's some reciprocity coming in with the Empress underneath that. So people really offering you, this is it. It's so funny because you're, you're like this magnet, people walking up to you and saying, would you like to do this with me? And, and you, you're just so shocked. You don't even really know these people, but some of them make you feel really good and some of them, oh, you feel that kind of kick in your gut there. And uh, yeah, just follow your gut. Follow your gut. You know who to trust. You know what to do here.
to Avon. Look at these more offers, more travel plans too. Very, very much travel plans. So maybe somebody's wanting to take you overseas or take you somewhere and show you something new here. And it just seems like, well, yeah, I always wanted to do that. Really look at the fine print of what they're offering here. What exactly are they offering here? Get to the bottom of it. What about strength? What about strength in the mind space? Page of Pentacles, there's more offers, more offers of money. That's a money offer here. So maybe a job offer or uh, some kind of offer that changes everything for you with death and rebirth, changes them too. Look at this with the tower coming in. All right, Pisces, there's some kind of offer here that is not meant for you. So there's a couple of offers here. One is absolutely meant for you. You're going you're gonna to see new things. You're going to learn new things. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. One of them is leading you astray and you're in for a world of hurt if you go for it. So really, really trust your gut here. How are you feeling when you're talking to this person, when you're planning this out? How does that feel to you? If it makes you feel nervous, if it makes you feel jittery, just walk away. Say, I'm going to think about that. You don't have to be... Um, you don't have to be hurtful to them or tell them to get out, <laughs> but tell them I got to think about that. It's just, it's not right for you. It's just not right for you. They're bringing you the tower energy. They're bringing you the devil energy. So just be mindful of that. I hate to even say that because there's such good offers coming into you that are really going to help you and, and raise you up and look, make you the king of pentacles offer. It's got to be a solid offer. It cannot be a page. Do not trust a page here with a a weak offer, but there's promises in the future for grander or for better. Stick with the one that's grand right now. Stick with the one that pays you what you want right now. Not for the one that's making you promises for the future. So uh, yeah, there's going to be a couple offers here. One's going to be like, yeah, if you come on board now, we can, we can only pay you this. But in the future, you're going to be a partner or you're going to be instrumental in this business. And we'll give you the residuals and we'll give you the... Uh, the uh, uh, money in the future, don't trust that one because there's a king of pentacles here wanting to make you an offer that is solid, that maybe doesn't pay as much as this other one, but it is going to be long lasting and it's not going to be trickery like this, these towers coming in for you. So there's just some trickery around you. Just be very, very mindful and take the king, take the king of pentacles. Oh yeah. Look at the kings and queens around you. Queen of pentacles and king of swords. This offer is very clear. You're not going to be second guessing. You're not going to go, is this the one that's going to trick me? You're going to know this is my king. This is the king. These are the two kings. There's the two offers I see here and another third offer by a queen of pentacles. So you've got a page of pentacles, a very weak offer. I see one weak offer and three solid offers here. So you'll be able to decipher it out. You'll be able to choose which one is right for you. And it's one of these kings and queen one of those and it's very solid very clear uh it's all in writing it's all there's no confusion no doubt here eight of swords look at this up in their head up in their head trying to get you to go their way this person this page here with this meek offer this weak offer trying to get you up in your head trying to get you confused about these kings and this queen here do not listen you, you're so much stronger than this so you know better so I, i'm not even worried about you honestly i'm really not worried about it Look at these more offers with the Knight of Cups coming in. <laughs> weak offers though. Weak, weak offers and two of swords right on the tower. There's that crossroads. There's that decision you have to make because it seems very shiny, very, um, look at the shiny objects. It's a distraction. It's a devil telling you, look at the shiny object. Don't, don't trust that devil, Pisces. Don't trust it. It's a crossroads that throws you into a little bit of a frenzy because you're like, how can I turn it down though? I can't. I can't. It's offering me a home. It's offering me stability. It's offering me travel. It's offering me, this page is offering me, you know, all these beautiful things, but it's going to be in the future. And then you, you'll you know, you'll absolutely know because these kings and this queen come in and say, here, Pisces, take me, take me. And it's just so solid. It brings you 10 of pentacles energy, happy home, happy life, just snuffs out that devil right on his tracks and stops him. So that's exactly what you do. You make the right choice. You absolutely make the right choice here. Do not be afraid of making the wrong choice. There are no wrong choices. There are only uh, lessons. Look at these knock that devil, that damn devil. Get rid of that. All right, let's see. Let's see some more clarification on this partnership. The solid partnership that I love so much from Pisces. Your partner here is wonderful knight of swords messages look at these messages coming into you clear messages so this partner up here this solid soulmate up here where you're the empress or you're the emperor and they're the empress 
they have some solid advice for you. Look at them pointing right into the Ten of Pentacles, right into the happy home, shooing away that crossroads, shooing away that tower energy here. So this partner really steps up and says, look, Pisces, I know that looks great. I know we want this for our future. I know this is what we're going for, but let's take that other one. Let's go with what feels good to us. And that's, that's exactly what happens. Four of Cups. Let's take a peek at the Four of Cups Wheel of Fortune. Look at this. <laughs> it changes everything. You and your partner are so strong. I love this. <laughs> you are truly a power couple, but you change it. You change the chain of events. You avert the, the disaster here together. <laughs> so it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This partner is bringing you the Wheel of Fortune and really makes the right decision, helps you to make the right decision, does not gaslight you, does not control you, does not manipulate you in any way, shape, or form, just shows you what's real and what's not and it is just so soothing i love this relationship i really love this power couple and queen of cups there's them offering you the emotion now offering you the stability now saying god we made the right decision look what we did together and we averted disaster here <laughs> disaster averted i love this thank god Thank God, Pisces. And judgment, look at, they get theirs. They get theirs. That person who tried to manipulate you, who tried to make you this false start, this false foundation here, gets theirs. It gets called out. The truth gets revealed. Maybe your partner reveals that truth. I think so. I think your partner reveals the truth and shines the light on it, shines the light on all the uh, the manipulation and the... Um, the uh, Yeah, the trickery here. Yeah, your partner calls it out and shows you the light. Oh, I love this. I love this. That's why you got the golden egg because that's about to be revealed. Disaster averted, Pisces. Love this. All right. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I hope you have a fantastical week and I will definitely tune in soon.